Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Night Improv 2, where I, Trey, um, owner of Clearly Homemade, create and chat with you. Let me get my video up. I'm going to get this shared. Start a little early. Sometimes you got it. Let's see. Do, do, do. Today we're going to do something nice and relaxing, nothing crazy. As you can tell, I have molds everywhere. I'm excited to use them. Got some lips. Now, I haven't exactly had the best luck of this, but, you know, we're going to do what we can do and go from there. I'm doing most of the stuff in black because my capata looks beautiful in black. I do want to show you guys. I got a flower mold right here. And I made these. I call it these painting the roses red. My Alice in Wonderland marble flower collection. I just love how they look. Uh, these are all earrings, by the way. Um, after they're baked, I'm going to put um, metal posts on the back. Uh, they are hypoallergenic, you know, um, from what the manufacturer said. So we have to go with that. And then today, sorry, I got a, I got a couple of molds we're going to be doing. Got a mermaid mold. I've done these in resin. So I've been wanting to try something a little different with clay. And I realized the other day that if you look at here, I did this last Saturday or Friday. I don't remember. Probably Saturday. And I was curious to do more molds. We're going to start. We're going to do black. We're going to do um, this one first. I'm going to do it. I'll show you how I do this. Make sure. We're gonna... oh, this might be too big. And I got a lot of black clay, so I want to use it all in one sitting. You know what I'm saying? So this right here is a, a uh, word for the bird. Peacock. It's peacock. Yeah, I don't know what's going on lately. My um, my words are not working the way they were supposed to, so I don't I don't know. Um, I was gonna do something else earlier today, but I ended up running into a problem. Um, with what I wanted to do, because it's too hot in my craft room to really um get what I wanted done. Which is a shame because it's a really cool idea. Might have to keep that specifically for colder time of year. Well, the back doesn't really make a difference. So this right here could be a pendant. Um, it could be a necklace. It could be very, very long earrings. As you can tell, it's huge. Very big. So what you do is you shove it into the mold. And um, you want to overlap at the mold a little bit. And then you take, I use the acrylic roller because remember, the wooden one, everything sticks to it. This you can clean off. Oh, there's thunder. Uh, there is a tropical storm warning going on right now in Louisiana. In that area, um, really bad for flooding and stuff. You know, they are very low. Uh, they're very close to sea level, if not under in some parts. And of course, here in Florida, it's hurricane season. So what anybody gets around the United, around the world, you know, we're gonna get something out. It feels like and I was outside before because all of a sudden I heard this crazy wind. What the heck is that? And um, oh my goodness, it actually works out. Wait, okay, good. Let's push that back in. Um, so I went outside and I cleaned it. I clean all the extra stuff up. I don't realize how much stuff you have. I'm gonna get rid of this. Stuff here. I want to get rid of that and keep that. It's fine. We're gonna smush that back in. Keep the stuff here on the side, and there we go. I want to make sure our spots are done. Just one more time with the roll. You can't be, be careful because it will stick. Well, for me, it sticks because how hot it is. Get some of that clay. Let me do is we take our 
lovely tissue blade. And this is what I discovered. I didn't know you did this with molds until I never had one of these. You know, well, I have now, but when I originally started doing molds, I didn't have one. I didn't realize doing the mold is a lot easier with the tissue blade because you can cut a straight line, which is very nice. There you go. Okay, saw this back and forth. Try not to lift it up too much because you want to keep your design. You don't want to lose too much. It's probably an easier way. This is usually an easier way for everything. Um, people have, I have seen people put it in the freezer. The freezer does not work. Well, the refrigerator didn't work anyway. Let's get this Move back and over. You can see that good. Of course, we're going to make sure we're getting all of it. We don't need off. This is going to be exciting demolding this because I have an idea. Um, I have some beautiful new mica powders. Just make sure I'm not pulling any of the silicone up as well. That would be terrible. It doesn't really look like I am. Make sure we don't. Oh. Apparently, I'm supposed to have some right there. So let's go ahead and shove some down there. Hi, Francisco. Welcome to the Friday night impromptu. I do something different um, every Friday. Uh, today I'm doing molds. This is just, you know, so I can talk to you guys. Work on some projects, maybe, if I have any. That kind of stuff. Nothing fancy. Tomorrow, though. Tomorrow, I am working on my Nixia mug. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm doing that. I'm going to move this out of my way since I don't need that just yet. Get some of this off. I'm just hoping we don't lose power again. That's really, really windy. There we go. I have no idea how this is going to come out. I'm just hoping for the best. Expecting the worst, hoping for the best. I like being surprised uh, with how some of these things come out. I really do. There we go. Oh, we're getting closer. It's like cutting a cake. A little bit at a time. Yeah, this heat is not good. One day I'll have an air conditioner in Minecraft room. Um, cause I can't even do resin right now either. Cause I can't guarantee it's going to cure properly. <sighs> I mean, I could move it, you know, to the, um, living or the dining room if I want to. I just don't want to cause of my cat. She'll get into everything. Okay. There we go. Great. Now, this is the not fun part. That's getting this baby out of here. Let's see. Let me get this black out. Move this all over. We're going to put it right onto here. Sorry about that. Roll this out again. Maybe convince the clay to come out. Come out. Now, this is going to be very thin. And this is not. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Almost lost the head. Not a very thick mold. Now the way it's supposed to look, it looks like there's like beading on it. Kind of shiny. So the best thing for something like this, um, I could probably take off these dots right here. The bigger ones, I could put gems on them. I probably should have did that. You never know how something's going to come out, you know. There you go. We got the molding. Now, let's take a look at what a peacock looks like, and then go from there. Oh, my phone is making noise. Peacock. Let's take a look at pictures. Let me turn off the volume. Oops. You're off. There we go. Okay, so we got some blue. Beautiful blue. We got blue and then the green. Let's see what we got. Now this would be great 
as I mentioned, for a um, for a pin, I'll put a pin on the back of it. You make this into a great drop-down necklace. Um, you can make this into a pair of earrings if you want to go crazy. The only reason I wouldn't suggest something like that is because it is kind of weak around here and up the top. So I, I would be concerned even after um, it was baked because it's not a lot of clay right there. And I have no idea what I'm looking for. Yes, I do. It's over here. Okay. Now, the color that I want to do... We're going to use some of our ghost colors. These are black diamonds. This is a specific ghost color. It's pretty cool. Um, these are the transference colors for Pearl X. That's what they call theirs. This is ghost diamond blue, sapphire blue, and intense ghost blue. So we're going to look at those. And then let's go. Hi, Michelle. Um, glow ghost blue pearl. So this looks like this would be an opal. You don't want to do opal. This is satin green, gold, red, and copper. We're going to do green. That's purple. And that's diamond green. So we're going to do satin. Let's, see. let's do a little bit at a time. The head is going to be blue. So let's get some blue on there. Um, I tried doing this with... What should I call it? Um, something earlier. And the clay was so warm that even the simple brushing is giving it a problem. I love using this thing. This is a makeup brush. Dang it dang. It's a color cleaner. You can just it's a sponge and you just wash it off. But this thing is incredible with mica powders because you know mica powders is makeup. We're gonna do and let's do a little bit of diamond blue. And I've did this I did this color before. This is the only one I tried. It's so, so pretty. Wish they came in bigger packs. I don't want to put too much. There we go. Oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see if you can see how shiny this is. No, well, you can't. I will be getting a better webcam, I promise. <sighs> You need to pack a bag. Is it that serious with you? Why can I not see the comments on my phone? This is giving me a problem. Oh, there we go. Um, if you need a pack a bag, woman, go. Get a little of that. We're going to do some more. This is the, in the intense color. I love these flowers. I love how they look. I wish you guys could see it. I'm going to take pictures, like good pictures. Okay, now this is a sapphire. Okay, definitely brighter. Let's see how bright it is. Okay, now something like this, we're going to need to use a bigger brush. Oh, look how cool that is. That's really pretty. Let me, um, my favorite mermaid brushes. We are making a mermaid tail today. Now I have to go at half after um, I play World of Warcraft as some of you may know. And I have something, there's a new dungeon. Oh, you have to save some people, okay. Be careful saving people, dude. Let's see, here we go. Make sure this, I guess this is just dyed to color. And there's a new dungeon. And I have a plan for me to go tonight. I'm very excited, okay. What's the color that I was using? Oh my goodness, the intense color. Yeah. Look, how, look how bright that color is. Oh, that is that is definitely a blue. That is pretty. Okay. Go all around it. Now, I am unable to mush the color in. This would mean I would have to, um, this would need a coating. Of, of epoxy. Actually, not with epoxy. It, it would definitely um, stiffen it up better, so you could probably use it as earrings. Okay, so that was the intense blue. I'm going to leave that like that. They can't hold her for another day, Michelle? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. 
My poor kid's traumatized. So you're going to come all the way to Florida? If you don't visit, I understand. Okay. Um, this is Ghost Diamond Blue. We're not doing that yet. Okay, we're going to do some. Now the colors is white green so let's take a look at the satin green color we haven't seen this one we saw the intense one and we saw the diamond okay that makes sense just be safe driving okay now this is the green you ready oh wow that is green it's very it's not a crazy green it is a very light green. We're going to be adding some sparkle to this. That's for sure. So let's go. Satin is like a, a matte vibrant green. Let me make sure it's not too much. It looks really pretty. I have too much. I don't want to do it too hard. Um, because remember, it is hot. So it's going to, you're going to see the brush strokes and stuff like that. Okay, no, 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 that makes sense. I hope they're going to be okay while you're gone. Okay. Look at that. That black. That black was definitely a good idea. You're not going to see how shiny, look how, look how shiny that is. Oh, man. You know, I, if this was body lotion, I would wear it every day. Um, here we go. This is going to stay just like that. I'm listening to my husband child. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, you want this as a pin? Do it as a pin. I'm using this thing again. Okay. Now you ready? You ready for the diamond part? The ghost diamond. I have 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get the mermaid done. And I don't have a small unicorn mold, sadly. Oh, my goodness. You guys cannot see the sparkle. This sparkle is, let's see, oh, it's like diamonds. Oh, can you see that? Yeah, I know it's your favorite. There we go. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. If you put this onto, um, glue this onto a canvas, you know, put it right in the middle, make like a 3D canvas. I mentioned canvas because I was speaking with somebody earlier. And they're doing some painting right now. And they're doing canvas work. That's, that's really pretty. Okay, so what I would do next. Oops, it's getting everywhere. That's bad. Okay. Let's see if we can see this. Look how shiny that is. I love it. I love that. Make sure the sides are done. Yeah, I'm going to, um, like, hold on. Let me get this one here. My arm's in the way. A canvas like this size. I get one of those canvases, put that just like that. And then I can put whatever you want on it. I have, I think I have these left. Um, okay, so what I would do next is every little bump here. I mean, I can't do it now because I'm not sure if these are crystals or if they're plastic. I'm pretty sure they're crystals because they did go in the oven. I can probably do it now. Um, where are they? Here they are. I would use these. Now we did see this in the glass. These are Swapsky crystal. So it's going to really oomph it up. And then I would do... Oh, these colors. I love these. Man, I have like the bestest best friend ever. She gets me wonderful things. Okay, so we could do maybe some blue. No, I need to get these in clear because it doesn't come in clear. It has these, and I think that would make it look cheap. Yellow. I don't have a lot of yellow, so I can do a few of them, and that's a good idea. So let's see what's going to look like. Yellow, I can do yellow and green. I'm going to need more of these. Okay, so... This is where the fun part is because you cannot add anything when it has mica powder on it. Nothing will stick to it. It is super obnoxious. So we have our handy dandy rubbing alcohol. 
and 8,000 toothpicks, uh, Q-tips. There we go. I'm going to rub it right off like that. And then I am going to try my hardest. You have to be very careful. You don't want to get rid of any of the other colors. We're going to be doing a few of them, not all of them. Now I'm going to see if I can go ahead and scoop out these spots. This is probably a bad idea. That's fine. If you don't take risks, you never know what it might have been. So let's go ahead and get this wiped off. I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol to wipe this off. This tissue blade is the most greatest thing ever. Wish I had this for cooking. Then I could use a regular, a regular blade, but man, I cut myself like four times. In fact, I cut myself right there. That's great. Okay, ready? Just a little bit, like ah, that. Whoop! Look at that. Totally messed it up. That's awesome. And the tissue blades bend, which is incredible. We're gonna put a jewel on top of that, so you're not really gonna be able to tell too much. Be very careful with the ones that I want to take off. You're going to have that problem right there, but I can just go like that. That's fine. Okay. I'm just going to cover that up. Any little mistake I do, I can just, you know, cover it up a little bit. Down. Okay, this thing's very sharp. It works even with soft clay like this. Okay. Three. I'm going to do some of the sides. That we're actually going to need something. Oh, yeah, I can make a card to go with it. Okay. I don't make cards often. There we go. We're going to do yellow on the outside. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to need more of these yellow. I think if you want to do a lot, otherwise. This is what we got. You ready? Just like squish. And then I can cover it in mica powder and then just wipe it off on top of the gem. Look how easy that is. Just got to take off a little bit. And it is Swarovski crystal, so there is a semi precious value now to this. Let's go ahead and get this one off here and here. And I'm going to put the green ones in the middle. I love making birthday gifts. It's like my favorite. Oh, I'm using the last three. A yellow. I'm going to put yellow right there. I'm going to put yellow right in the middle. There we go. Ta -da. Now, this is Peridot. This is actually um, my birthstone. I used to hate Peridot. This thing is the ugliest color. And then, oh my goodness, I actually have exactly enough to do this piece. How incredible is that? Pair that right there. Nope, I'm going to be one short. Oh, that's poop. Two. Three. Hmm. What am I going to do? Yeah, I used it on the other mug. They're on the um, vines. August is a good month. I'm a Leo. So you know I'm crazy. Do not get this on here. There we go. And we're going to figure out what we're doing with that one. I don't have any other pair dots. I could wait, we can get more, or I can put something else. <sighs> no, how many pair dot for that? And then because it's five and I need five of something, so I can actually get rid of the pair dot and I can do um blue. Yeah, I'm gonna do a blue instead. Instead of the pair dot. So let's get move that out of the way. And that matches. Because, you know, 
Okay, we might we can probably use these somewhere else on here. No, no what? We're delayed. Oh, and by the way, Michelle, um, Florida is having sympathy weather. Just want you to know that. Okay, this color is sapphire, which I think is December. I don't know anybody who's December. It's not anybody I talked to. Four, five. Okay, now this is going to look really pretty. My kid's yelling. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, so there are a, a wee little spider. This is really pretty sapphire. Oh, my goodness. So this is my favorite color, blue. Um, royal blue. Um, I should put ruby on here, then, huh? Ho, oh, oh. ho. Um, so there was a, a wee little spider walking around. I mean, this thing is like about the size of one of these. I'm going to walk around there and my kid starts screaming. I'm like, oh no, it's just a baby spider. So I helped it outside. It's exciting. Little spiders don't scare me. There we go. How's that? Here, let me get it closer so you can actually see it. Let me put these back. They're so tiny. That's, I don't want to lose anything. Uh, this will definitely be getting a coat of epoxy front and back. To make sure of it, so we're gonna keep the mica powder on it. It'll blur um, the gemstone lines a little bit, but you'll still see that they are there. Okay, move this. Great. And I can take these. Look at that. Half an hour for the gift. Complete with semi precious gems. I'm a lot faster at this than I thought, but these, these are so pretty. I can't wait to see them as earrings. I'll probably wear them myself. Okay, ready? And then, I think sparkles. Now, we did the dust to cover everything. But remember, we messed up a little bit of spots. So we're going to just take the same brush that we didn't clean. And run over. We're going to figure out what's going on over here. Five minutes. Let's get rid of that. This here is actually a bakery set. It's a bakery set. Like fondant and stuff. I do not use fondant. I just use, um, I make my own whipped, um, icing and stuff, but I don't particularly care for fondant. All right, oops, I'm moving everything. Big headset. <sighs> One gorgeous peacock. Let me do, oh, you know what? Let's go look crazy, right? It's a gift. Yeah crazy for gifts. I'm put some stuff away. Put my gems away. Doing everything in one hand because I'm crazy. Crazy. Put this to the side. Close my rubbing alcohol. And it's just gonna stay there until it's dried up. I use this to clean my hands. I use it to clean everything in here. Rubbing alcohol is wonderful. Um, if rubbing alcohol doesn't work, I recommend nail polish remover, acetone, pure acetone. So I use that when I worked with resin. And I still have a lot left because I stopped doing resin before I stopped using it. Because I moved. Okay. Gold. Blue pearl. Let's, oh, let's go crazy. It's seven minutes to go crazy. I'm really excited to do this dungeon. I almost wanted to do this video ending early. Mechagon. I got my flying already. Michelle, you gotta play. Okay. This is ghost gold. So interference gold, essentially. Pop it over little places. And it's gonna highlight it. That's why I like these ghosts so much, because they highlight. Oops, that's not a highlight. <sighs> I can always add more. Boop, boop, boop. Clear that all off. Yeah, I'm not digging that either. Okay, let's change it. Let's go back. My bad. See, the thing with art or with doing things like that, if you mess up, who cares? Fix it. Fix it. Um, accept it that this is not what it looks like. This is its life. You know, there's a million things that you can do. 
Do not be like, oh, this is just terrible, and then never do it again. Because if you never do it again, the only thing you're losing out on is the ability to experience new things. Because you'll get freaked out. I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. If that were true, I would never do anything. Let's get some green back on here. Now it's a green gold. Hope she likes gold. I don't remember. Okay, it's going to turn to matte again. But it is smoothing the gold out. That's the idea. Okay. And now let me do that gold diamond, that ghost diamond green. Make sure you clean your brush over time. I mean, the green is green, but it's not really a big difference between the colors. Okay, this is that diamond stuff. That stuff is so sparkly. There we go. Almost. I don't put too much. Now the back of it is probably going to get a piece of felt. Uh, I'll do black felt. And then I'll cut around it to match. That way we don't lose the antennas. I'm actually going to put a little bit here. Um, or anything like that. There we go. Actually, I have a little bit of that left. So let me grab a Q-tip. Tear off the sparkles. You can really see. That's the difference between crystal and glass. Okay. Glass is shiny. Crystal. Oh, man. It is super duper duper shiny. But I'm okay with glass. I'm okay with glass. I'm okay with rhinestones. Diamonds are as shiny as glass crystal. I really don't know the difference. Um. Oh, man. That's sparkle, though. Oofa. Oh, I love sparkly stuff. I have a problem, and it's sparkly stuff. There we go. Look at that. Holy crap. <laughs> that looks so good. Half an hour. Half an hour, and we get a gift. Well, of course, it has to go in the oven. It's not very thick, um, which is the nice part. So what I would do, I would just cover this in aluminum foil. Um, I would let the oven preheat. We don't have to worry about the crystal cracking, which is nice. Um, with, with glass, you kind of have to sometimes put it in, you know, um, bef with, as in a cool oven, and then heat it up that way. So this would probably go, it's like a, what's half an hour recording. So I put this in the oven for probably about an hour and a half. Um, there's no such thing as over-baking clay. As long as the temperature is consistent. So this will get covered in aluminum foil. Throw it in the oven. Hour and a half later, comes out, cools down. Um, I would give it the coat of resin. Flip it over. Uh, resin, obviously, when it's dry. When that's fully done, then I would cut it to a piece of felt. Glue that onto there. I have glue specific for clay. It's uh, Aileen's tacky glue. Stuff is amazing for clay. Like it makes everything stick to wood, glass, you name it. And then um, I would add a pin. I would have to probably get a special order of pin long enough for something like this, or put the pin like right there. And if I put the pin right there, it's gonna sit just like this. You know, sit on the shirt, and it would be. You know, I can't really show you because I don't. Can't show my chest here. Why? <laughs> it's because this is just about clay. Um, that's it. That is it. I had more that I wanted to do, but I, I'm really happy with this. I really am. And then, of course, we have, I'm going to show you guys again, my roses. This is a very gothic black um, roses. Painting the roses red, very Alice in Wonderland, which is like a chessboard. And that's what this is inspired by. This is Alice in Wonderland. I'm a huge fan. Um, I got two tattoos for Alice in Wonderland. And I do have an Alice in Wonderland mold, which we did not get to use today. But that's fine. So here you go, folks. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Since it's going on canvas, uh, we're going to negate the felt. It is going to get a cover, though. I'm probably just going to put on Minwax, uh, a polycrylic. It's a, a water-based. Now, uh, it's what I use for the outdoor stuff. And then it can go right on the canvas. That, it dries in like 10 minutes. It is wonderful. I love it. Um, and then you don't have to worry about the resin not curing and stuff. So I would do that. Then I would put on a canvas. And if she wanted, I could put, you know, designs on the side of it. It's whatever the customer, Michelle, would want in that case. 
And then that's it. So everybody, thank you very much for joining me tonight. I am Tara Clearly Homemade. I appreciate you joining me on Friday Night Impromptu where I created this and I was able to chat with you. So I will see you guys tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am working on the Anixia mug. This is, I had to change it to a black mug. It looks a lot better. I did fix the scales, but I had to. Um, I like this better as well. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly how we're doing horns and stuff. So until tomorrow, I hope you guys stay safe. And thank you very much for joining me tonight. And as always, I look forward to creating with you. Bye-bye.